and welcome back to another episode of Behind the Reins. Today we are going to do my morning routine. Let's just get right into it, shall we? So my horses are hungry. Uh, the first thing that I usually do is I come in the barn, turn on the lights, and I go around and check everything, make sure everything's all right. Okay, so usually I start off by giving my horses all their grain because then they usually go outside. my grain. Yep. So Tom gets his, he's right here. I'm like trying to hold it steady. <laughs> <laughs> morning vlogs, Jerry. Morning vlogs. For my YouTube channel. Oh, you probably don't want to see your lazy horse. <laughs> God, my dogs are spouses. <laughs> It's like watching them so they don't run over my I shins. Know. <laughs> I know, they're going to take up. I'm like, my own dogs have done that to me and it's not fun. Yeah. <laughs> All right. He's like, give me all the grain. who don't live in Wisconsin, <laughs> you know. Don't have a metal scoop. Get a yeah. plastic one. Your hand will freeze to it. And I usually set up their grain for nighttime if I'm here. Just so that way at night I can just grab it right away if I'm in a hurry or anything. Make it quick, right? Huh? Makes it quicker. Yeah. Just because she gets a supplement in hers, it's not really as good as like salt. Nice and then I set her hay out. 
Yeah, he'll shake it. I'm like, he'll probably shake it and get it there. Such a stud. Yeah, this one too. This one too, yeah. Pretty sure I get like a rash or something from hay sometimes. Billy does. Sometimes. I get like bumps and stuff. Yeah. It mainly if we haul a lot of hay. Yeah. But yeah. <laughs> Jackie's morning acrobat. Yeah. <laughs> who needs yoga? Yeah. Who when needs When you yoga? just have to tear a bale apart. Yeah, basically. <laughs> And sometimes, sometimes they stick. Sometimes they don't. So I just make it easier on myself. <laughs> I think that's going to be it because I don't know if the polish is going to go out because we're kind of starting to get a little study. Oh, okay. I'd rather not take. And this boy here is very excited. So he can have hay inside. anymore. He's only how old? He's almost two. He's almost two, okay. So, so he's almost breeding like age. In the summer. Yeah, yeah, I mean, actually, like, Ringo really only has been out till he was about a year and a few months. Mm -hmm. He's probably right around the same age as Capone, because um, Gringo was out with another mare. Um, uh, like the same age as him okay. or like a little either a little older or a little younger I can't remember I think it was a little younger than him um, and then like an older bear yep so it was kind of right around the same time and like we try and keep them turned out as long as we can before you know like oh, I yep <laughs> Oh, that sun feels so good. Yeah. But it's like I don't want to take a chance on breeding something that I yep. don't want bred. Like, right. And now he is starting to kind of get like a little nippy and like. So it'll just create a little bit more bad ha behavior. Yeah, and we don't want him to. He'll get in the habit. Learn how to breed anything. Yeah. You know what I mean? Because we're gonna gal them, but he's too young to gal for our preference. 
Ja. I was gonna say, did you put a lock on that yet? No, not yet. <laughs> My horses have been inside almost the whole time, time. since then. Yeah. And then I'm just gonna check. That's the biggest right. reason I hadn't had them out because I was like, no water. Okay, now that all the horses are fed and then I have everything set up for outside, I'm going to bring all my horses outside. So, Bella actually goes out in this pasture. And Bella is 25 years old. Yeah, she gets picked on a lot. Mm. Like camera person trying to speed up and walk as fast as Jack is <laughs> <It's all right. laughs> without shaking the camera. Yeah, right. So I'm actually gonna brush him off real quick because hey, he's man, got some dirt on him before I put him. Hopefully, uh, there's nothing behind. Him. Him. Yeah. <laughs> oh, and really quick too, you can. Mm -hmm. I'm like, you got this. Got it. <laughs> the door with my foot. <laughs> hey. And if people don't know what studs do when you're walking horses through, well, not all of them do that, but the majority. Right. Because then if I have a round bill, I have no problem just bringing them in, giving them grain, and then... 
Because this, this water is heated out here, right? So. Yeah. I love how she's like, I don't even care about Gringo. I just want hay. Oh, yeah. She's <laughs> like, I was in the trailer with him all day yesterday. I spent the whole day with him sorting cats. When she came out of the door, couldn't even see her because she's so black. These dogs. That makes sense. But he also doesn't crisscross the belly straps. Yeah. And if you don't crisscross the belly straps, more than likely your um, blanket's gonna come off. Yeah. I just come back. Um. usually have somebody who's cleaning my stalls for me now but she only comes like a few days a week so we're gonna clean out the stalls because my horses are probably gonna be outside for like quite a few days now um so my stalls aren't bad so I just have to pick them out but yeah that's basically what we're gonna do now I don't do this every day because like I said I do have somebody that cleans them for me but she's not coming until like Wednesday and it's Sunday today, so like they gotta get cleaned out. And they really are probably only gonna be inside either at night or just to come in and get their grain and then go back outside because it's supposed to be warm this like whole week. If it's anything like below zero, I usually don't let my horses out or like keep my horses out um, overnight because. Sometimes they fight over the shelter. So if it's like really windy, I don't want my horses like fighting with each other and then being cold still inside. Especially if they don't have a round bale outside. Like if they have a round bale, it's not so bad because then I don't feel so bad because they can go eat. But yeah. Literally, I hate the shirt so much. Like with a passion. Like it's so awful. Great. <laughs> Apparently the dogs are loving the shit pile. <laughs> 